Hey guys, I've not been well. Not the coronavirus, thank God, but a pretty severe water infection. So my videos have slipped a bit schedule-wise, but hopefully a little casting today might help. A few weeks back, I introduced you to a new friend of mine, Manuel Jurbanek, a talented German filmmaker that created the intro session you see at the start of this video. Manuel happened to have a pretty impressive pendant designed, based around his company logo. And as one good turn deserves another, I thought I'd have a bash at casting it in silver for him. I began with Fusion 360. I felt this section of the pendant was a little bit thin. This thing will be heavy and chunky, so it doesn't need to have any weak spots. As such, I took the opportunity to thicken this section and overall, I don't think it's changed the design much at all. When it came to printing, I was using a different castable resin, something new for me that I will be reviewing later on. For now, I'll be keeping that information under wraps, as I need to get accustomed to the resin before I pass any judgments. But when I do, I'll probably include a video link up here. Seems to print nice. Unfortunately, one side of the print didn't come out too well. So I lost detail and had to repair with wax. But let's not blame the resin yet. It could still be me. This print is too big for my small flask, but I have a taller one that I can use instead. That seems to have come out pretty nice. It looks a pretty good casting to me. There's a fair bit of flashing, but that could have just been the plaster mix. It just simply needs a bit of tidying up.
Just boiling water and a little citric acid clears away the oxidization. Now, I'm not going to lie. This was looking pretty good to me. I used one of these abrasive sanders. It's the finest I have, around 300 grit, and my hope was to get into all the detail with ease. And that's as far as I got before the water infection sent me slightly mad and had me in bed for the best part of a week. And during that short time, well, remember this? I made this a few weeks ago. It fitted great on my little finger, but not now. Anyway, infection free and I'm just not happy. I want more bling. The abrasive brush just wasn't enough. I need to possibly burnish and definitely polish in all the nooks and crannies and right now I don't have the tools. So that means I'll have to leave this video where it is for now just so I can get things back on track. But we will revisit this aspect I think. It's too important not to. So in the meantime guys, just remember, be careful what you polish your delicates with. It might not leave you happy. So take care guys. And thanks for watching.